<laughs> I give up. <laughs> Good whatever it is, I don't care. I'm just going to talk for a while. You guys learn or not learn, that's your business, and then we'll all go home and <laughs> have some dinner. <laughs> okay, now that we've established the mood, <laughs> Ah, welcome to Marketing for the New One, yay! And we are going to continue talking about the product. Last time we learned that a product is... This is like a fill in the blank. I'm going to throw some of those on the test now. A product is... A thing that you're selling. Thank you very much. And if I could be a little bit more specific about that... <laughs> But that's pretty good, the thing that you're selling. Actually, I kind of like that better. <laughs> but I'm sorry, I'm stuck. Yeah, this is a college class. I got to go with the bundle of tangible and intangible attributes in order to satisfy some. But yeah, the thing that, the point is that it's not necessarily a thing. It's anything that somebody is willing to exchange something of value to value for. Um, and then we had talked um, a little bit about uh, the product adoption process for individuals, and we talked about the diffusion process for uh, how large groups of population or people adopt products over time. So we kind of went from the individual to the mass, which leads us to the product life cycle, which is, I think the, I should use this. This is, um, I shouldn't do this. Um, there, there's a comedian uh, lives in Marin. His name is Don Novello. He does a character called Father Guido Sarducci. Um, and if you're young you, or if you're old, you'll have, have seen him. But one of the comedy routines he does is the five-minute university. Um, and the, the premise between the five-minute university is you go to school for anywhere from four to seven years. You take all of your classes. Five years after you graduate, how much of that can you actually remember? Um, I'll teach you that in five minutes. <laughs> and so just uh, for uh, foreign languages, como esta, muy bien y tú, economic supply, demand, <laughs> for marketing, uh, product life cycle. If there's one thing that you want to remember from the class, the five minutes, um, product life cycle, this really is something very important for understanding how we deal with products. Um, and what it is is a... It assumes that products go through, well, a life cycle, four stages, um, and introductory growth, maturity, and client. It is more applicable to product categories or industries rather than individual brands or individual products, although it can be used um, in those situations. It's just more robust when you use it at a, um, at a higher level. Um, and it's basically expressed as two curves. And this would be an example of the two curves. I have uh, the big, long, high curve. That is sales. And then I have the, the second curve at the bottom. That's profit. And you can see we start out introductory growth, maturity, and decline. What can you tell me about profits? This is a very important thing to understand about the product life cycle. They're not directly related to sales? I'd have trouble with that one. <laughs> if they're not related to sales, what are they related to? <laughs> Graft, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, no, I, so what do you see about that profit curve? What can you tell me about that? It goes down after the growth phase or sometime during the growth phase, yeah? Where does it start? Say again? It starts below zero. So one of the first things to understand about the product life cycle is every product starts out with a loss because you have to develop the product before you can sell it. So one of the issues that we're dealing with in product management is you, know, you have to put the money up front to develop the product, so how do you get that money back? And then what do we see with the sales curve? Starts on zero because you can't have negative sales. <laughs> um, and then it kind of starts to grow slowly, and then it sort of takes off, and then it kind of tapers off, and then it kind of falls off. 
Um, and I, those of you who are in graphic design are probably going to appreciate the quality of those curves. Um, those are mathematically precise <laughs> in my handshakes. 